As Algeria prepares for presidential elections later this month, the country's voters have been voicing their support for and opposition to current president Abdul Aziz Bouteflika. Bouteflika, who suffered a stroke last year, has rarely been seen on the campaign trail. He has sent allies to make speeches in his place, including the president of the National Popular Assembly, Mohamed Labi Ould Khalifa. Khalifa was welcomed earlier this week at Azawiya, an institution which represents traditional Islam in Algeria. In his speech, Khalifa reminded his audience of Bouteflika's achievements during his long presidency and said that the president can ensure Algeria's stability in the future. But while critics accept Algeria may be more stable, they also see a country which is mired in corruption and overly dependent on the energy sector. Dissatisfaction with the status quo is so high that political party, the Islamist Movement for Peace and Society, has decided to boycott the elections. The party's president says the country does not have real democracy and says the government has failed to uphold human rights and freedom of expression. Nonetheless, incumbent president Bouteflika is likely to be victorious once again when voting day comes around. But the poor state of his health and his long absences have raised doubts about what will happen during his next five-year term if he can no longer continue in office.